Hello, Ian here from Dark Blades Workshop. Welcome back to another video. Um, this is a quick update on a D&D project I've been doing. So this is a... Um, mission job really and um, it's all D&D &D minis uh, I never I've never done any D&D &D stuff before but it's pretty similar to Warhammer isn't it so um, I'm just going it from that angle the only thing I've got to get right to the actual sizes of the bases that they go on but um, I'm using um, 3d printed miniatures from um, what's the name of the guy now? It's it's a Patreon he's got. It's um, Titan Troll Miniatures, and um, he does D and D stuff, and he he does busts as well. Um, oh, you really need to check out his stuff. He, even if you you, know, you don't like D and D stuff, but some of the busts he does are oh, amazing. So I think uh, <laughs> some of those are going to be on the agenda. So yeah. Titan Troll minis, give them a look. Uh, I say they're on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere really. Uh, they've got their old Gumroad store as well. Might not be Gumroad though. Uh, my mini factory. And uh, of course on Patreon as well. So let's have a closer look at some of the stuff I've been doing. So these are Orcs. Um, they are huge. <laughs> um, compared to a, a human, I'll put the human in there. They must be giant orcs, I suppose. But uh, no, um, I really like them. The the skin tone has changed because these are going to be uh, played with, and uh, I thought I better need a bit of protection on them, so I lacquered them uh, with. The, the clear lacquer from Halfords. Uh, give it a two or three coats of that to give it a you know a really nice uh, protective coat, and then I went over the top of that then because the the lacquer is really really shiny, and they looked bloody awful like that. So <laughs> I went over them with a matte varnish. Then um, I think it's a, a Mister Mister Color uh, clear coat. And it works quite well, I think. It's uh, it's quite a nice varnish to use. It's in a rattle can, and uh, it's easy to get hold of. Unlike um, you know the uh, the dull coat, which seems to have vanished off the face of the earth. But no, really good fun to do these. I was playing about with the skin tones, and you can't really see it after all the varnishing that I've done. So I've got a little bit of contrast there, but not an awful lot from when they were just you know just paint and no lacquer over the top but um yeah good fun to do i enjoyed doing all the different browns and uh for the you know the leather and the um the fur yeah good fun i've only picked uh white hair at the last minute really but i think it works quite well So more green skins, uh, goblins, and um, again, really lovely sculpts. Um, so obviously with goblins, I'm a lighter skin tone than the orcs. Um, probably see there. Uh, decided to go a few shades lighter. Um, the the surprising bit that I enjoyed was the the helmets. And it was like a, a red leather um, effect. I don't know, I was glazing in uh, some darker browns. That was uh, really nice. I need to improve my metals. I was, uh, they weren't great, but um, I'm waiting for some uh, replacement Vallejo wear. Uh, Metals to come in, but yeah, really nice. 
Okay, some crypt skeletons. I've uh, got another three or four of these to do yet, but um, no, uh, shouldn't take too long. They were, they were quite nice to do as well. I was playing about with like a, a worn effect on the on the armor, and um, I glazed a little bit of brown in there and trying to get that aged look. And uh, no, they were quite quick to do. It was good fun messing about with the, the leather covers on the on the shields as well instead of going down my normal wood route. And then we've got some, uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, we've got rusty bits. Try and zoom in there. No rust on the swords, uh, not the swords, the blades. The bases um, are uh, Vallejo, um, it's like an acrylic paste off a basin and then uh, there's a little bit of rubble on there that I've got from uh, slate and uh, large granules of sand and then it was just dry brushed grey and then I put in some uh, enamel brown washes in there. Uh, Starship Filth, and I think it was a dark brown as well. Okay, so this was one of my favourites so far. Um, again, another large figure. And uh, it doesn't actually say what it um, should be. You know, obviously a werewolf, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure why it's bigger than your regular werewolves. Um, but no, good fun, uh, using a lot of blue greys and then Payne's grey in the, the shadows. And then a kind of dark fleshy colour for the rest of the, you know, the hands and the ears and the feet. Yeah, it was quite a nice one to do that. It was quite quick as well, doing the fur. And some armoured elves. Um, they look pretty similar to uh, you know, the Lord of the Rings elves from you know, the Third Age. Um, apart from the shields, obviously. But uh, they were quite nice to do because I haven't done gold um, for a while. I try to keep it quite dark and worn looking as well. Um, so that's... Uh, I, d I didn't specifically decided that I wasn't going to use Retributor um, so I went for was it Balthazar Gold and then um, Agrax and then there was like a rusty brass colour from uh, AK that uh, I picked out some of the details with them and added a little bit of chrome to it pick out the highlights and uh, really nice to do let's see the detail on them are really nice let me just move these two in a bit so we can have a a shifty get a light on them there we are so yeah beautiful sculpts so this um it's the Titan Troll. He's he's only charging about seven or eight pound a month, and the amount of stuff that he's churned out, you know, per month, is incredible. And it's all quality stuff as well. I said, I'm I'm not affiliated to him. I'm not getting paid by him. <laughs> it's uh, I th I think more people need to know about him because uh, the. the Quality is amazing, as you can see. So that's the elves. Oh, here we go. My one and only. Well, I've got two humans. This is one of them. Um, it's like a, a city guard kind of guy. Um, just tried to use as many you know neutral tones on him that I could find. And. Yeah, not bad. I quite like him actually. Finished off with the uh, Dactan highlights. This one is the the halfling barkeep. 
Oh, cheeky little character. Last up is my favourite of the bunch. This is a, um, a, a, a bandit of some sort, bandit leader. And uh, he, he's a fan of Argentina, as you can probably see. I might call him Mr. Messi. And uh, I've got no idea, but I, I picked this red out of nowhere. Um, I can't even remember, but I think it's Wine Red by AK. It's, it's a really nice saturated um, red colour and just added uh, beige red to it to get some highlights and then a bit of flesh in there to pick out the highlights there. Um, I quite like the, uh, the belt running around as well. Really nice figure. And um, I'm thinking of doing one of these for myself. I love it so much. I might uh, scale it up. Imagine a, a 54mm version of that up here somewhere. Yeah, should be good fun. So that's uh, that's all the painted stuff that I've done. Um, let me show you some of the things that will be coming up in the second part of this D&D uh, &D lot. So in the middle we've got a couple of uh, elf rangers. I'm not entirely sure if I like the string from the bow. Um, I may cut it off and put a bit of thread in there instead. I'm not sure yet. See what the customer wants. Um, so yeah. They're going to be like a, a dark green foresty kind of colour scheme. Um, this is a bandit to go with the, the last painted guy that you saw. There's going to be a gang of about four or five of these guys. Again, the, the detail is so crisp on them. It's amazing. This is a, a vampire thrall or thrall. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it. But they've been uh, they've been bitten and they're part of the coven now. And there's a few more of these to do. Um, a bugbear. I'm not entirely sure <laughs> what they are. <laughs> uh, I can't really see what kind of bug they are either. But um, they they remind me of a, a cross between an ogre and. Uh, a minotaur so um yeah we'll, we'll probably go down that route with a brown fur maybe we'll see see how it goes uh, talking of brown fur we've got an owl bear so yeah that should be relatively quick i think depending on how the feathers go and uh last but not least this ugly thing uh, called a beholder. Now this isn't from uh, Titan Troll. It's I found it on my mini factory, and uh, it should be good fun. Looking forward to doing that big eye with a lot of detail in there. I'll see. I forgot to say the owl bear. That wasn't Titan Troll either. That was another my mini factory uh, find. So other stuff that's coming up, um, probably a few more orcs, uh, skeletons as I said, uh, humans, um, elves and then I'm not sure after that we'll see, we'll see how it goes if the customer's happy I might keep going and going we'll see we never know so that's it uh, for this update. Um, hope you enjoyed it. There's some, some really nice uh, figures. It's a nice change to paint something else. Um, and I think that's why I'm so enthused with it. Um, yeah, good fun. So I highly recommend this uh, this guy. Um, have, a, have a look. 
and see what you think because some of the other stuff as well he's doing is amazing um anyway i'll stop waffling on i uh, hope you enjoyed it i uh, hope you're all doing well and uh, we'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>